Hi guys! Welcome to my channel, a huge big hug. As you guys know on this channel, sustainability matters and we encourage imperfect sustainability. So here are some sustainability tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. So today we are going to look at trends that are my classics. And the first one is the cold shoulder. I know the cold shoulder is not something everyone considers to be their classic, but it is definitely mine. I have invested in this trend. I grew up on this trend. And for that reason, I absolutely love the way it looks on me. I love how I feel in this trend. And for that reason, I've made it my classic. So it's a forever trend in my wardrobe. In fact, I am no longer considering it a trend. But for the benefit of those who consider this a trend, we're going to go with that. So here are some of the pieces that I've incorporated into my wardrobe. And they are definitely my classics my forever peace in my wardrobe. I love the cold shoulder. Feminine as well as elegant as well as a bit flirty. So I love this look. The cold shoulder trend made it as a classic and a forever piece in my wardrobe because it makes me feel classy and at the same time very, very feminine. So for that reason, this would always be a piece, a style that I gravitate to because I can wear this to the office as well as casualize it and wear it for a girl's night out so it's a piece that is forever in my wardrobe
of course I have a dress version of the cold shoulder and guys this gets so much wear because it's so flattering and this piece is natural fiber love it to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love ya let's get back to the video A second trend that is a classic piece and of course a forever piece in my wardrobe is the puff sleeve trend guys this is me in a dress so therefore it would be a forever piece my classic piece in my wardrobe and guys I have it in all shape size oh I'll just let you see what I have and again for this particular piece and this trend I wear it as a work piece as well as I have many pieces that I can wear both as workwear as well as casual wear so that is what I love about these trends that are now my classic pieces because they fit so well they're so flattering and they absolutely fit into my wardrobe and could pair with almost anything that I have so take a look
top is such a great addition to my wardrobe. I mean, when I first saw this top, I, yeah, it wasn't really impressive among all the other stuff that was on sale. But my God, when I tried this top, the sleeves, ah, it had me at balloon. So I absolutely love this piece. It has been a really great go-to piece whenever I'm in a rush. So I absolutely love the way this piece pairs with other floral pieces as well as solid colors. Yeah. With respect to this piece, it needs no introduction. You guys have seen it a million times and you would see it over and over again because it's the perfect combination of puff sleeves and buttons. It had me. Yeah, completely. The high and low cut trend is a piece that made it on my classic and forever list because of this particular piece and the style. What you would note about this style is that at the top, it's very classic. So it really gives this high and low style an extra zoom for me. And so I really, really love this piece. I got it in red as well. And I pull this out almost every Christmas or Valentine's Day because it's a really, really striking piece and the style for me is here to stay. Absolutely, absolutely love it. Another trend that has made it on my classic list are pinafores. And I chose my pinafores very carefully. I think this dress was a reintroduction to pinafores because I absolutely love this dress. I love it so much that I also got it in the other color as you would see coming up. But growing up, my introduction to pinafores was a bit different. It was exactly like the piece that you would see shortly. But guys, yeah, what I would say is that if you're not too enthusiastic about including pinafores in your classic wardrobe pieces and guys i'm not here to tell you what to make your classic piece these are my classic pieces and i know that i would wear them forever whether or not they are in or out of style so you do your thing and definitely let me know what trends you are incorporating into your wardrobe and whether or not there would be classic pieces that you would wear in or out of style. And as mentioned earlier, this was what I originally had in my mind when I'm thinking of pinafores, but those dresses at the beginning really redefined what pinafores really look like. So, ah. Uh, love them forever and hence the reason why they are classic pieces in my wardrobe so i hope you have learned something i hope you enjoyed this video and whether or not you agree with me let me know leave a comment below and i'll see you soon love you guys bye